guys and welcome to part five of the order block strategy. This strategy, uh, sorry, this part is to explain breaks of structure. Now base breaks of structure is very simple and there's three types. So type one, okay, type one, we have this. So let me just fill this in. Um, I'll use a blue, oh, oops. Uh, there we go, we'll use this, so let me just draw these out. Okay, um, let me just copy these. And one more time. Okay, so there's three types. There's type one. Now, type one is when uh, is when you get a wick. Let, let me draw the wicks on. Okay, so we already know that we are going to use the wicks as to mark our high. So that is the high. And type one is when the body is breaking the wick. Okay, so this for us classes as a break of structure. So that is our break of structure. That's what BOS is. This is type this is type one and this is the one that at Vertex, this is the one that we prefer as as traders. However, um, there are two other types and I'm gonna show you both of them. Uh, so type two is when uh, you got the wicks, you got the wicks. Okay. Type two is when the body is being broken by the body. Now, personally, for for us, we don't like that we pref because the candles hold a lot of information. We prefer having um, this one, but this is still a break of structure. So you can ignore the wicks as long as the body breaks the body, right? So if this candle was here, Okay, it's still a break. But if this candle was here and the wick is the one that's breaking, that's not classed as a break of structure until you have the body breaking the body. Okay, so that is type number two. Type number three, um, so type number three, which I'm sure you can imagine what it is by now, is a wick break. Now I hate these ones, but again, it's it's up to you. So we have this one. So we have the wick high, and then it's broken by this wick. And if we think about it from this perspective, there we go. So that is a break of structure for some people. All three of these are perfectly valid breaks of structure, but we prefer this one at Vertex. It's up to you which one you prefer. You can use this one or this one, but this is for us, the, the one that we like. What I mean by is up to you is because on your back testing is good for you to find what works for you. Because although this works for us, you may not like it, which is fine. The reason why, um, the reason why I don't like this one is because we know that the wicks have a lot of information, and we prefer you know, to clear everything. The reason why we don't like this one is because we know when you get a huge wick like this, for example, for a bullish break, if this wick is up here, we know the sellers are taking over. So this is basically seen as a rejection in our heads. So for us, that's not a clear break. We like to have make sure that there's actual an actual overall break. So for us, the type number one is, type number one is the one for us. But again, as I mentioned, it's for up to you for you to uh, to test and find what works for you. But yeah, that's the one. Um, but yeah, so nothing more to say on this um, on this uh, part. But that is that is literally it. So in terms of mark when you mark your highs and lows from the previous video, for example, say that this was your high, we'll only mark this one as your high until the broker structure that wick break, for example, here. So say that was your high, right? This wick does not count as a break for us. We have to wait for this break to happen. So that will class as your new high until the body is broken. So that is break of structure.